Danny Cummings here, percussionist with Mark Knopfler. We're on tour at the moment, well, we're coming towards the end of a tour. And we're currently at Red Rocks this evening, which we're very excited about. I've just been speaking to Jim Cox about his keyboard rig, and now I'm about to do the same with Mark's right hand man and our musical director, Guy Fletcher. Good evening. Good evening, Guy. Danny. Now then, I have uh, noticed that a lot of what you do seems to be playing pads and getting in the cracks and it adds a lot of substance yes. to the music. In fact, so much so that at sound checks and etc. when you've dropped out, a lot of the music seems to <laughs> drop out and what's left sounds like bare bones. I like to call it the glue. Yes, the glue. The glue. So this is the glue factory. The glue factory fact. is, in fact, yeah, exactly. It's a good way to describe Could it. Do you, I mean, it, there's a huge cross-section of sounds obviously yeah. coming from here, generated by you. There's a lot of pads, atmosphere, Chordal substance. stuff, substance, harmony lines. It covers it covers all sorts of territories, um, and I suppose the best way to describe it would be to go through each keyboard. Um, obviously, I've got the Hammond here, yeah. which is kind of replicating what Jim has over there. Yes. This is not the not the B3, but the XK3C, which is great. And that's running through a Leslie, and that's all kind of self-explanatory. Then we go into the Roland keyboards. This is the JDXA, which is a fairly new analog digital synth. Um, when it was first put in front of me, I thought maybe it's going to be a bit too digital sounding for what we do, but actually it's incredibly analog sounding. And the analog side of it is what I really love. Um, there are some, a lot, a lot of pads come from here, a lot of atmospheres, a lot of evolving sounds that I use in the show come from this synth. Um, and it's reliable. It, they're all incredibly reliable. The Rolands have been amazing. So there's that. Then there's the System 8, which is similar in a lot of ways, but I use it for the sounds that have a little more bite, more synthy, right. a bit wilder. I mean, you can get quite wild with it. Um, but the main keyboard I'm using is the RD2000 Master Controller, which is pretty phenomenal, actually. As I use a lot of piano sounds, uh, electric piano sounds, clavinets, vibraphones, celestes. Just that's a, a lot of what I so do real is real instruments. Sounds. Real instrument sounds. Because that's what is so um, unique and incredible about this. I keyboard. think I think it is because it has such a. I mean, it has a standard set of sounds, but it has a lot of them, and they're all really good. But the main thing about it is it's, it's the way it controls. Um, the controller features are excellent and they're really easy to use on stage. The keyboard is fabulous. Perfect for what I do, but for, from clavinet to electric piano to beds and synths and strings. A lot of what I do is blended sound, so I'll take, I'll take a sound from there and I'll take a sound from the from the main stage, from, from the samplers, and a sound from there, and I blend them. Um, right. and that's so we're what really gives in the it. kitchen here, aren't we? Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's exactly like cooking. Yeah. Um, so there's a lot of simmering going on. Two laptops hosting main stage, synth samples and string samples, and a lot of the old samples from the older songs come from there. That's right. an A rig and a B backup rig. Right. Then I've got this Roland mixer, the V-mixer, which is fabulous. Um, all totally controllable, program changes. Um, for the last 50 shows, I've sort of forgotten it was there. It's yes. pretty tremendous. Because you never have to touch it. Never have to touch it. Once we set it up in rehearsals, yeah. it's, it was good to go. Lots of tweaking after that, but now we're, on, now we're on a roll. It's perfect. And then this little guy here, that's the Roland Super JD. JD990, which replaced the JD800 I used to use up here because yeah. it had a great string bed in it, which I loved and actually got onto a lot of Mark's records. And that I use just for that, really, yes. just for that sound. And then there's a spare down there, which I don't really use. And there's two Mot Motus and two PreSonus Quantum 4848s that are the audio interfaces for the laptops. Um, and that's well, pretty that's much pretty it. pretty comprehensive description of yeah. it. It's it a sounds lot of stuff. absolutely fantastic. I don't Thanks, know where Dan. we'd be without it. <laughs> um, and it's been such, Thanks, a, such a pleasure. Thank you. As always.